Hey guys, Melissa here and welcome back to my channel. So today I am sharing with you um, my layout share and colour kit for how to colour kit with style for July. And um, as you know, if you follow me on Instagram and if you've watched my uh, kit share video, you'll know that I was participating in Scrappy Christmas in July. So I use the Merry Days collection from Crate Paper and if you go back to my video, you'll see what I had to start with. I didn't have it all. I had left it quite late. I loved it, and I think I ordered it off um, Christina from the Secret Not Secret Kit Club in J January or February. And she basically sent me one of everything that she had left. So I'll quickly show you what I've got left. This is the chipboard. And I do struggle with chipboard, I love it, but I never ever kill an entire sheet, so this all, everything that's left is going to go in my Christmas stash, which I need to remake, because I had none left until now, so um, yeah, that. Um, let's take this basket away, I think. These are the paper scraps, that's all I've got left of the vellum. Um, off cuts from using my silhouette bits of the 6x8 paper pad um, a lot of pink and I really feel I've killed the kit because I don't think I can make anything else with this so this will probably I don't know go to the kids <clears throat> um, let's go through some of the embellishments these are the puffy words and I think I did a pretty good job they're still a bit there but like I say I ran out of paper um, I'm loving using pattern paper as a background and at the moment um, I don't have any full sheets left so I don't even have any to pull from my stash of anything really that's how low I'm getting um, these puffy alphas I think I did a good job I can put them into my general stash I loved these little extra details the sticker sheets, <clears throat> I've actually put them all back in their packaging just so I can keep them together. So I've probably used about half of that. Um, obviously anything that's too winter themed, like ice skating and stuff, I'm not going to use. But I can save it for scrapping winter here, which is now. Um, these beautiful buttons, there were nine and I've got two left. Didn't use these and I intended on making a layout that had this hanging off it. But because I ran out of paper... Um, I didn't so I'm going to keep that and I may still do that um, later on these beautiful shaker um, embellishments I used too thought I would use more uh, the puffy stickers I probably used what half maybe a lot of winter ones I haven't used now these stickers I think they're kind of made for packaging, but I've used them as much as I can on my layout. So I've got one pack I haven't even opened, and I may use that for Christmas packaging, actually. <clears throat> Excuse me. Twine I used a lot of. And there was a packaging kit that had these kind of tags. I don't even know if that's one of them, but it had like some repetitive ones like this. So I just put them in with the general embellishments. Um, it also came with this pack from this packaging kit. Um, it's a whole lot of gold and I loved it. And I've used, I mean, there's a lot in there and I've used it as much as I can, as you'll see. So that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Paper clips. I did better than I thought. So I've used, I don't know how many there were, there was two of each. So I've actually used quite a lot. And then I'm not going to take these all out, but um, that's actually a sticker. But, you know, this is another bit of chipboard that can go back on the chipboard sheet. But these are the ephemera labels. Um, yeah, there's still quite a lot. So these will all get used. I'll just add them to the Christmas stash and you never know, they could end up in another kit. So, you know, still quite a lot, but like I said, that kind of packaging kit had a lot of those in it and I've added them to this. So, yeah. Um, and I think a kit is killed when you just can't make anything else. And for me, it really relies upon pattern paper. And because my style at the moment is to use pattern paper as a background, um, I think I've killed the kit. 
So, I made nine layouts, which is pretty standard for me with a kit, and then an extra one, which I'll show you in a sec. <coughs> so, this is the first one I made, and I've put these in order, except for this one, and I'll explain why. Um, so, this is for Confessions of a Paper Addict. It was my first design team layout for July. I used the um, Stitching Stars cut file, and if you, you can go and see a process video on how I got the gold in there. I fiddled with the cut file to make this work and then I kept the embellishment quite simple because that is quite um, full on in terms of it's an embellishment in its own right. I did the chain stitch, it was the second time I've done it and I'm a lot happier with it. So the focus for me with this kit was to scrap older photos that I had already printed off and this one, I need to put the date but it's 2014 which is when Brielle was yeah, the year she was born. So she was born in April. This is December. You can work out how old she is. <laughs> that one there. And this one was I played along with um, Tracy Fox's um, Scrappy Like a Fox. And she is the, I think she's the person who started Scrappy Christmas in July. And um, yeah, before I move on, I just really want to thank Tracy because if it wasn't for her and the hype and um, of making this a thing, and I was so keen to play along, it's my first time playing along, I don't know if I would have made so many, so I feel like I was held accountable to that, and also how to connect it with style. So this is a scrap lift, was a challenge to scrap lift a non-Christmas layout, so I scrap lifted one of Jen Scow, and you can see her layout on my Instagram. So I just love how this one turned out. And then this one, um, this is Brielle, and this is a um, page map sketch, and I just adapted it to make it work for me. Um, this is the one that Tracy Clairborn, Tracy Clairborn saw through the hashtag Scrappy Christmas in July, and then she asked me to go on Scrap Wheel's podcast to talk about getting it done during July. So, yeah, um, huge thank you to Tracy and Tiff for that opportunity as well. Um, I just love how this one turned out. And then this one, um, actually, let's bring this one back. So I made this one the other night because I had had these extra photos and I didn't really want to make a whole other layout. So let's get some more light in here. Sorry, guys. It's um, snowed last night in the mountains and the light is just awful. Um, so, I mean, rather than do another layout or another two layouts, it's the same story to her first Christmas. That's about the stocking and here's her unwrapping. So I just decided to do a, um, a pocket page. It's a 6 by 12 and this is a page protector from close to my heart. And I love it because it's side loading and so I just um, kept it quite simple. Um, my journaling is smudged a bit there. It's on one of the stickers but that doesn't matter. You can still read it. So that's that one. So that'll go together in her album. It's probably as close to a double page layout as I get. <clears throat> um, this one, what did I do for this one? Scrap lift, paper issue scrap lift, that's what it was. And so I had these photos of Sam, he's so young and so cute, and he got this pickaxe, Minecraft pickaxe, and so I gathered together, you know, the Mary from the sticker sheet, the Christmas from the puffy words, and then the actual puffy stickers, and called it a Merry Minecraft Christmas, give the gift of joy sticker, and then embellished, I put some gold acrylic paint on the background just to change it up, and I love that. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I've had a, you've had the flu, as you know, and now I've got this post-viral cough. Um, I love that as a background, but of course, you know, when you use a full sheet and you've only got one, you've got to sacrifice something. And we don't really have hot cocoa in summer, which is our Christmas, so I could sacrifice that. Although it is beautiful, so that is that one. This one um, was playing along with um, Tracy Fox again and you had to use one of the scrappy trends and so I went for the inner circle which is where you embellish on the inner and have the outside not as embellished. I used a wreath cut file from Paper Issues. I've popped up painstakingly this um, on little pop dots, um, hand stitched through it, which was uh, quite difficult as well. And then I've kept it monochromatic and gone for a sort of red and pink to really pull out the little bow tie that he's wearing there. And I thought, you know, Merry Little Gentleman um, was a cute little title because there's that song about, I can't remember it now, Merry Gentleman. Come bless you, Merry Gentleman, I think. Yeah. 
Um, so that's that one. And I did sneak this in because it was red. And I just love how this one turned out. I'll definitely try that technique again. This one is a multi-photo layout. Um, this was also playing along um, with the Scrappy Christmas in July challenge to use a colour that's not traditional. So from the same collection I was able to pull pink. And so I did some watercolour packaging technique, splatters, and then I used a stencil from um, my favourite things with stars. And um, I probably should have done them in gold, but I had this Shimmers product. Um, I'll show you actually. It's a Dazzler called Foiled Again, and I wanted to try it. So I used it. And then I've just gone for like the pink embellishments and, you know, hot cocoa again <laughs> because it's pink. So that is that one. Well, I mean, yeah, I... With this, um, it was 1 to 25, and I used it on the other layout as well. I ignored the numbers because it was obviously set up for, like, if you were to do a December daily, you could use one of them for each day. But I ignored it. I went with the elements that were pink and um, <clears throat> red. You know, it doesn't bother me that this is ice skating either. And then I distressed the edges, stitched them, and then lifted the edges as well. Yeah, like I say, stitched. Um <clears throat> excuse me and then this is a tag and rather than adhere that glitter because it's really hard I just have to floating so I love the way that turns out and that gets that memory of Azaria scrapped in one page with the three photos this is a scrap lift from paper issues as well and um, it had a lot of tags and twine so I was really keen to play along um, I'll be honest the twine thing was difficult um, I used glue dots it was kind of fussy and annoying but I love how it turned out um I was inspired by Laura um taking a scenic route she did I was watching one of her videos and she sprayed her mist rather than dropping it to get that effect and so that's what inspired me there um this is a tag from my stash which this one came out and I added it and I did add a few little things actually um <clears throat> excuse me but everything else is from the kit and I just love how this one turned out Oh, and I was going to say, because I was scrapping older photos, and obviously Ava um, has not that many older photos, because she's only two, and so this is her own last Christmas, and I've called it beautiful, because every time she went to the tree, she'd grab the decorations and say, beautiful, and so that's the memory I've recorded, and I just love this little sweet photo of her. This one is my latest uh, layout for Confessions of a Paper Addict. You would have seen it yesterday on social media if you follow me, or, or if you follow Virginia, and so this is called Joyous Baubles, and she made these a couple of cut files, especially for a Scrappy Christmas in July, when she saw that some of us were playing along, and so what I've done is I've made a shaker pocket with packaging, and I make my shaker pockets so they don't shake, so that when they lie, you know, upright on the album, they're not going to all fall to the bottom, so um, you can watch my video on how I do that, that I just machine stitched around, I've used real brads, old school brads that I had in my stash, here and I was going to say that's left over from last month's hip kit those sequins so I was glad to use them up um yeah journaling card which was perfect and my favorite photo from Christmas this is like 2011 when I only had two kids and that's so cute with Santa so that is that why did I also um save this fa la la this is begging to be a background so I splattered some pink and blue <coughs> that's what I've sacrificed which is another beautiful piece of paper and then yesterday I had to just make one more and use as much as I could of what I had left. Um, I brought in these uh, like little sequin things. They're from a really old clip kit and I used up as many as I could just decorating the branches and the wreath. This is also last year's Christmas because I just had to do something recent. And I love her face in this one but it's just they had gift wrapped some presents and then posed by the tree and I had to take a photo and so I've done journaling under each photo as well as the general journaling and I um, doodled around each one outlined it just to give it a bit of whimsy and um, a grid is always a good idea if you've got things left over and I had several of these so I've made the ones work obviously not too wintry but ones that work really well I've even used um, like that's the other side of one of these and that is one with skating or something and I've covered it with this and I oh these are two little close to my heart or can't remember actually what brand they are little um, glittery dots I had two left and so I just was keen to use them um, yeah so I just embellished each little square being able to still see what's on them um, and I'm just so happy with how this one turned out I needed something I'd made it kind of uneven I'd gone too far this way and I needed something 
that was um, what do you call it 12 by 12 in length to go along here and all I had left was that strip of vellum so the trick to doing this is to use a couple of dots of liquid adhesive like a clear one on the darker part let it dry and then just machine stitch down so that's that one um yeah Oops. I have had a blast um so Sarah of uh, Sarah Scraps, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so glad I joined back in with How to Kill a Cat with Style. Um, I, the more I create, the more I create. So, um, you know, if I don't create for, say, like a couple of weeks, I get into a scrappy, funky, no mojo. But um, as well as doing this, I've also been working on killing my June hip kit, which I'll share in a separate video. So... You know, this would normally be the amount of layouts I'd make in a month, but the fact that I've managed to make other ones and my Traveller's Notebook too is huge for me. Um, um, if you listen to the Scrap Girls podcast, I'm talking there about how I get it done. And how I get it done is because I have four kids in a business, I just can't sit there all day and scrap. I will do increments, so like 10 minutes at a time. I always have something out and on the go. And then at night, if I'm not too tired, I will do a bit as well. So don't by any means think that I sat there all July and scrapbooked and didn't do anything else. <laughs> It was not the case at all. I also had the flu real bad for about um, <clears throat> five to nine days. So, um, yeah, I don't have a situation where I can scrapbook many, many hours during the day. So thank you for following along with me this month. Excuse Ava screeching at me in the background. I'm going to leave you with a quote um, by Alison Horn. She said it in the Scrap Girls podcast and Tracy and Tiff have made it into this image. And this is exactly um, how I feel about scrapbooking and finding the time.